Hello, my Screaming Firehawks. It's finally time for the latest episode, season six, episode one of the Expanse called Strange Dogs. How long have we been waiting for this? You guys have waited way longer than I have, that's for sure. But I, I went through the entire show for you and did two, one to two episodes a week and it took a while, but I finished on time and I'm here to watch the show every week now and I'm excited to do this with you guys. I, I'm excited to see how different it will be to uh, interact with all of you while this is currently airing. I thought this response was already amazing, um, so I'm even more hyped now. It ended with quite a bit of a cliffhanger. Wow, so much I said last episode. But Alex died, and there was circumstances behind the scenes of why uh, they got rid of the character. Um, after thinking about it for a while, that it is a very big danger that they all face when they travel in space like that. So overall, like it's it's like a very big threat that we kind of forget about when we're watching. And so it made sense that they used that method. Um, some people think it was pretty cheap or that they just like wanted to get rid of him as fast as possible. But despite what the actor did, the terrible things that he did, the character still was honored in a way because his last acts were of saving Nomi. And I think that despite everything, all this difficult situation, the uh, writers and producers were put had to make it. I'm okay with it. Honestly, I, I feel fine and I'm ready to like move on and see the plot and the story and how they're going to end because this is the last season, I believe. It ended with a quite a big cliffhanger as well because some weird-ass alien shit happened at the end of the last season and I'm just excited to see what all of that was about. Anyways, let's dive into this episode, guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm disappointed that this episode isn't longer. I thought that considering um, that we're almost done with the show... It would have made the episode longer. I had a hell of a week though, um, so I'm excited to just like relax a bit and watch and enjoy this show. Oh yeah, this whole thing as well. Jeez, Amos, sorry on Earth. Is Marco Inaros. Marco Inaros. Commander of the Free Navy. It's not. There was a big tension with them. Um, against Marco. Killed this family. Intercept and engage the Rosinante. I'm always on Drummer's side though. Don't even anyone ever. That was she the most badass shit I've ever seen in my life. Again. Hang on, Naomi. Really badass. What is she doing? Eh, something impossible. I like that she did the signs as well and Alex understood it. Did you come here to help me? I, I ship it. <laughs> Peaches. Up. Peaches. There's been another attack at the wing. Interesting for Holden though. Gruncher. Gruncher? It's fish. What planet are we on? Slinker vine. Slinker vine. The hell, that looks cool. Are they carnivorous? Are trying to catch these flies, or first as like rabbit, but it's hey. obviously not. What are you? Uh, could be dangerous. Don't get too close. I don't like how the mouth is shaped. Like it's gonna open it. Predator style. <laughs> are you a rock jumper? They're scared, I'm scared. GTFO. It looks snake like, which I guess I'm scared of snakes, I'm not gonna like it. It's okay! It's okay! You're, you're gonna be okay! They're all gonna be dead when you're back, because this thing's gonna eat them. Keep zooming out so we know how this planet looks like. Wow, it's a planet too. Awesome. There's a weird looking ship. <laughs> Heavy dramatic music. Man, that really fucked shit up. Millions. What? See, this is why I feel like there's definitely no redemption for Marco, but even his kid, I don't know how he could be redeemed. Nomi's the only hope for him, I think. But how could you live with that, knowing you were involved in killing millions? Rosanante. MCR in Denali linked tracking with UN in Farragut, and in conjunction hey with Sentinel-16, the combined railgun barrage destroyed the three incoming rocks. Ooh, I used to I like shooting this. stars. 
The yards are working around the clock. So. <laughs> Talk to the hand. Hmm. It's like a goddamn nuclear winter. Yeah, ain't no grain growing there right now. Man. The struggle for food, they're gonna really know what that's like. Sick. <laughs> this team worked though. Boom. Boom. <laughs> they seem exhausted. Sweeping 360. Do you think I could convince Chrissy to pay us for every one of these assholes we take out? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I'm serious. Chrissy. We should keep our distance. The Free Navy loves improvised bombs and proximity triggers. They know it gets Marco. Oh, true. I'll send in a drone. Shrapnel took Listen out. Listen to the camera. brain of the operation. I guess I'm gonna have to go out there and see if we got any holes that need plugging. All right. And they, they, they seem sad. Pages. <laughs> cool. Nice. Man, even a little jump like that, I would be terrified because flooring into space seems so, so scary. Okay. Live soil farming, we should be able to increase food production on series by 15 to 20 percent in the first year alone. Dawes always said Dawes that is dead because I got tired of listening to what he had to say. Food's important though, like I feel like he's just thinking more of power than of survival for the entire Belter population. You want something? I do. I mean to Jake. That's not all you mean. Let me know Please if you change still your mind. A douche. But the best you can do? Increase the bounty on Jama 20%. And the boss and Dante as well. She's good at hiding from them. Go to a meeting with the boss man, huh? It's power. The boss man. The boss and do what? Uh, what was her name? I'm not sure. What's all this? It's so uh, annoying. <laughs> it's skin. You like? Uh, an animal. animal. Uh, it's very expensive. Marco! 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 His hair is Marco, wonderful, though, I have to admit. Marco, Marco. The Inners may have thought it was theirs. He's obviously but feeling some stuff still about ours. Him what she did. We forged our identities here. I still think she could get to him. Margo is ambitious though and successful. Drummer? Justice standing by. <laughs> is it the red fire weapon? It has to line up perfectly. Damn. I'm glad she has this crew though. On my family. Signal. Port thruster. Ten degree yard. Michio. Hmm. How are they dealing with this? What happened though? Michio's not doing well. No! <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? You put on a thruster? I'm sorry. I don't want to trust her with anything that important again if I were you. Get him. Help us, Sue. We got him. Okay. Munitions. No munitions? Oof, that's bad. One torpedo. Is that one torpedo gonna come to use in like a very key moment? <laughs> Not much help from her. I mean, she just seems a bit stressed. Needs some help. My customary response is you're welcome. Sorry. How's Nomi doing? Everyone seems really sad. I just realized this is I the first time I've flown the Rosie. A lot of shit's happened though, it's fair. First time I ever had to. Oh, because of Alex. It's rough. Wait, what the hell? Uh, oh shit. Uh, Naomi? Has like a security system? You've started the reactor. Was a trip to fail so you need to get out of there. Shit, 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 shit. Can't leave it empty-handed. Uh, Jim, what the fuck are you doing? 
doing? You need to get out of this now. Yes, I, I can bring the breaking down. Oh crap. Come on, hold. My goodness, man. This cool uh, side by side of him hammering on that and that thing going on the reactor. Ooh, that was stressful. <laughs> Jim, what the hell? Almost gave No Man a heart attack. She's not happy. Ah, uh, poor upbringing. Wasn't raised to tension wrenches. <laughs> Well, no, Miss. There's something tension there. The only reason she's here is because you decided to make her part of the crew. So, As if yeah. that could replace Alex. Not to replace him. This has nothing to do with Alex. You went through a lot of shit on Earth. You no, know, you made some pretty big decisions for all. Yeah, of us you want to, to talk, no. So does that mean you can do whatever you like now? You could cut peaches a fucking break, like we all did for you. You should find somewhere else to be. God damn it, Nomi. Really? You did so much shit. Clarissa did too, you know, like... But when it really counted, she kind of saved the day, you know? She was... She did a lot, a lot, a lot of bad shit, but I feel like, personally, she's redeemed herself. She even served time and had to go through a fucking apocalypse on Earth, you know? This is not a place for her anymore. Gio is family. I mean, she's also dangerous with We have lost nerves. so much already. She looks like a puppy. I will do better. I promise. I try harder. You are trying your best. Come back. I'll find you. When it is over. When will it ever be over? <laughs> Monsieur, you can't really blame them, right? He was. You were? It's like using this so bullshit modest. they did to the score it's checks, it's like, like good for you! Right off Mars itself, right <laughs> under the noses of the dusters. He killed a science ship near Venus before they could spoil the plan. Oh, it's getting it to him. All those people he killed. I think he's just using women as a distraction from what he's feeling. That's obviously what's going on, but... He's feeling a lot and trying not to feel anything. That's what it's the episode start off as. So I guess I don't hate him as much as I did when I first saw his character again. Nice man bun, Marco. Thanks. Sandrani's fucking spreadsheets. Uh, all right. Well, what can spreadsheets? we spend from You mean like food cost? for your people? Nothing. Wow, taxing work. So we owe these people nothing. City is our capital. Belt. These are our people, your job yeah, is to get them what they exactly. need. Exactly. If you have any specific logistical suggestions. She looks cool, but she's obviously a bitch. <laughs> it's not our problem anymore. Well, in the big picture, it could be. Yeah. The only reason the rings are here is because of us. I am out here to kill Marco before he kills us. Still out here instead of drinking myself lying on moons because I don't want to abandon you. Ugh. Oh. So don't abandon us. Hey. Uh, it's just, What's wrong? it's important, Holden. I but right now, we gotta focus on Marco. I get that. It looks like an orbit. Probably a spotter ship that's been guiding the rocks. Take out the spotter. And as your dragon. It's your dragon. Wow. I think that's the name of the ship. It's a cool name. I tried for so long to stay away from the violence, but... Yeah. Marco pulled me back Let's in. get him. And now the people we're hunting and killing. Same ones I used to call my own. It's conflict. I don't know how much longer I can bear it. Maybe she could bear it better if Philip came to her side. Hmm. Definitely. You need to find her first, though. Let's get out of here. Come on, dude. She's I working. Just got here. Fucking lucky I'm even talking to someone like you. Shut the hell up, dude. The hell is your problem? Kill the other me. Oh, well, he's obviously going through some like trauma. You, Philip, you're coming in hot, fucking huh? hero. Oh, come on, let's Literally. go. Literally, how he's handling it is terrible. Why? The fuck 
you gonna do about it, huh? Punch him, come on. Dude. Yeah, deserved it. I think he wanted to be punched, honestly. What the fuck, dude? Really? My goodness, you need help. Philip. <laughs> what are you dreaming about? Uh, I never Chloe. thought I'd actually enjoy this <laughs> <Nice. sensation. laughs> Maybe it's the lack of sensation. The whole planet is not pulling me down. Wow, I love that line. That's great. I can come back if you like. Join her. No. I understand. I'll step down. If I don't get the easy way out, neither do you. <laughs> We're in no it to win it. That you're a marine. In it together. You're sick of doing nothing. Little wins here and there will not hold us together. We need more than that. You have something in mind? What? I do. Something to give us reason to hope. Tell us, Christian. It's gonna end there, aren't you? Damn, dude. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. That was the first episode of Expanse for y'all. I like that we kind of eased our way into the season. Like, I like when they do that where it, it's a little slow sometimes, but we're just seeing, like, where the characters are at at this point, where they are, like, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, all of it. And honestly, they all seem fucking depressed. <laughs> the only person I think we saw smile was Christian when she was just floating without the weight of the world on her and I just loved that a lot you know um but everyone's going through their own shit and considering how badly that Marco has beaten them so far it makes sense um interesting to see how Philip is fully losing it too like his mom knew he was not the same as Marco and I think even he's starting to realize it but he's acting in the completely the wrong way he is lashing out at every single person and he just shot his friend too. So I think the only hope for him is if he sees his mom and she talks to him, but otherwise he's just going to keep going downhill, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we'll see where his character, what happens with it. Um, Marco's still such a douchebag. He doesn't even care about his own people at this point. He doesn't care about getting proper food supplies. He just thinks of it as spreadsheets. He wants to fight. He just wants the action, you know? And that's not what makes a good ruler. I'm sorry, but you need to think of the people. That's what you claim to be thinking about. And yet, they're so expendable to you. Like, you don't even care about getting all your people food. Uh, I don't know. It's just, he really pisses me off. Um, and Holland took a risk this episode. I think that was like kind of most tensest scene in this and I really liked how they filmed it like for how that thing kept hitting the reactor faster and faster and he was hammering the hell out of that to try and just get it to stop I think that was pretty funny but I get where Nomi's at I'm not surprised that she's hitting a breaking point honestly after what happened with Alex especially and everything she survived you know survived a hell of a lot um I think as well for her, it would be good for Philip and her if they got to meet. I don't know, you know, they're both breaking and I think they need each other. Um, that's my opinion. And I do think she definitely needs to give <laughs> Clarissa or Peaches a break because they forgave her for so much shit. All of them have done stuff. Amos, I feel like has done the least. He's just been following orders, you know? So when he wants to bring her along after all, they survived together. I'm not going to question that. I, I would not be treating her the way Nomi is. I I, I would understand Holden because she literally tried to kill him. But Nomi, really? Really, girl? Disappointing. Um, but she has other, other shit going on, we know. So, I don't know. I want to see more of what Amos and Peaches are... Like, they have a... I don't know. Like, she's an apprentice. Like, she's learning a lot from him. But, but they haven't hinted too much of any romance between them, which it's not the main plot but i do want want a little hint that that's what's going on it's not the most important thing though what's more important is to get marco but i also really want to focus on like the rings and stuff so it's like a conflict for me i, I wanted to beat marco uh, but i also want to focus on the alien stuff they've started the episode with a cool ass planet 
and then didn't see it at all for the rest of the the episode and i just and all the animals all the plant life it was just so cool and we only saw a snippet of it and then didn't talk about it so i get where holden's at he wants to figure out what's going on with the rings uh but right now we have to focus on Marco. anyways uh that was a great first episode i can't wait for the next one hope you like my reaction like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye